This is the hardest defense to play against in Madden 24. It shuts down the pass. Gets instant sacks. Bring that ass here, boy. And interceptions all game. So if you want to see what brand new defense I'm using to get results like this, stick around after the intro. For the fastest, cheapest, and most reliable coins in the market with a no band guaranteed delivery, check out my coin sponsor, MOXP.com, and use discount code MONEYSHOT for 5% off your order. Link in the description below. The plays from today's gameplay can once again be found in my new Miami Dolphins offensive and Las Vegas Raiders defensive ebooks. If you guys want more help, you can download these or any of my ebooks instantly simply by clicking the links in the description or the top pinned comment. For today's video, I wanted to continue to use some teams that we probably won't be talking about much once the playoffs start, and I've been wanting to use the Saints for some time now, as I think they're one of the most underrated teams in the game in both offense and defense. And I also got a divisional matchup between the two teams fighting for the divisional playoff spot in the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. But before I get into the gameplay, if you guys are enjoying the videos and want to see more, please make sure to be a subscriber hit the like button and let me know in the comment section. My opponent, like most Madden players, is overly aggressive, which usually backfires. Loser. As I will now start to drive inside of his territory. On offense, I have been waiting to make a video for a while about me using just one play all game, as I think the halfback wheel out of the gun split close is one of the hardest plays to stop in Madden 24. So in today's video, I'm almost going to exclusively use this play on offense and another play on defense that I'm going to show you later. But I've also made more videos about this entire offense, including a gameplay last week and a full practice mode style breakdown, as well as a full breakdown of the defense I'm going to show you as well. So if you guys want to see more, I will have links in the description as well as on screen pops at the end of the video. So stick around for that. One of the reasons this play is so hard to stop is the run backs as both of them really can get open against any defense the rb route is better against zone except cover two hard flats and the y route will also get open underneath any zone if you throw it right away but if your opponent hard flats he will also get open once he turns up field to complete the route the same thing can be said about man coverage is he will get open right away and he will also get open as he turns up the field so most of the time i'm going to hit these guys quickly so that my opponent will have to pay attention to them or i will just kill them slowly with paper cuts until i work my way down the field and ultimately score but this play is also a one-play touchdown against every defense in multiple ways. On the first play, my opponent was in cover three, so on the next play, I assume he's going to be in it again, although I really can't tell pre-snap. So I streak the B receiver as this will do two different things. It will either pull back any deep zones in the area to allow the corner out to get open underneath, or since I'm on a hash mark to the open side of the field, if he is still in cover three, the outside cornerback will react to the corner route instead and let the streak get open up the scene for a one-play touchdown. But it looks like he might be in a cover four, so all I have to do is watch the safety to see if one of them drops in coverage after the play starts, and when he does, I just have the bullet and pass lead away. As we take the lead in just two plays. The one play that I'll be using on defense throughout the entire gameplay today is from the 3-3 odd, which is another formation I recently made an entire breakdown about. I have several plays that I like in this formation, but for my money, the hardest one to play against is simply the cover for a drop, as this is the best run defense and pass defense in the entire formation. The reason I like this defense so much is because it mirrors the 3-4 odd, but it also allows you to get more speed on the field. The most important step is to bring the safeties down as this will make sure that they get into pass lanes faster, but this will also help out in run defense as long as you don't guess pass. And this is because the safeties typically walk down to the box and play the run first like a nine-man run commit, giving you much more run support than you normally get from any other defense. If you expect run, you can also pinch the defensive line to try and close up the middle run lanes, but this will also make them less effective in pass rush, so remember that. As he runs on the first play, it has to cut back to find room until the safety I brought down gets the stop. I might be only using one play, but this is also very highly adjustable, making this defense more like several plays in one. On the next play, since he is in a shotgun and I don't want to mute the pass rush, I shift the defensive line the direction of the inside zone and try to stop the run that way. I also hard flat to take away any short routes and it shuts down the underneath routes but it also lets the corner route get open for a first down. So remember that once again. On the next play I hard flat once again but the important part of the setup and the run defense is to bring this cornerback down into what would be the outside linebacker spot in the 3-4 odd look that I'm trying to create as this will help out with edge containment once again. I continue to switch to hard flats to take away short throws and it takes everything away outside leaving only the crossing route that I'm all over. I dare you. I dare you Forcing him to hold it and lead his target to an overthrow, bring up third down and four. I have mostly been hard flagging this drive to protect the weakness of cover four, which is outside underneath the dropping cornerbacks, but on third and short, I am definitely going to hard flat, as the down and distance is always a good indicator on when to hard flat and when not to. And you can tell he wanted to hit that short throw, but everything is locked up, and my opponent literally holds the ball for 12 seconds like he thinks he's Donovan McNabb. He takes it all the way to the house for the score, but he really did the most and put this coverage to the test, but the coverage held up flawlessly. 
Back on defense, he is not in a hurry to pass again as he quick hikes me before I get the full setup in and goes right back into the hurry up as he completes another pass over the middle of my area. This defense is all about adjustments and another adjustment that helps a lot is to simply base line when your opponent is in tight personnel packages like this, where the receivers aren't split out wide and are closer to the line of scrimmage so that they don't have as much space. A hard flat once again, I just wanted to show how the hard flats also help in run defense as hard flatting like this will also make sure that the edge defenders fight for the outside containment and will often force run plays to cut back up the field inside, which I find helping to limit this play. The natural keeping contain in this play also can help edge defenders get pressure if the quarterback leaves the pocket, like he does with the play action animation on the next play, forcing a tough third and 15. But since I haven't made any personal adjustments yet, meaning I still have linebackers in and they fail me on the next two plays, allowing big catches down the field. So once he gets me inside the 10 and calls a hurry up, time out. It's time to burn a timeout and set this defense up properly. If your opponent runs the ball a lot like he did earlier, I like to leave my linebackers in the game, but since he has become very pass happy lately, I'm going to change my personnel to my passing setup, which is to replace these two middle linebackers with safeties in Lonnie Johnson and Jonathan Abram. I'll also put my best linebacker at this defensive end spot here in Demario Davis, as his high zone coverage rating will be very helpful in coverage, and I should still have enough size on the field to not get bulldozed in the run game. I'll also make sure to move Cameron Jordan inside of one of the other defensive end spots as I will still want to make sure that I have all my best pass rushers in the game. Only now he's going to be going after the quarterback on every single play. After doing all of this though, of course he decides to come out of three tight end set and pound the rock to get me down to the one yard line before hurrying me up and passing on the next play. Damn it! So maybe it was too little too late, but he tries to go for two and I obviously hard fat to defend the goal line and nothing gets open once again as he tries to run with the quarterback instead. All right, fuck you, buddy. He tries to onside kick it once again and I don't know if he is trying to do an onside kick glitch or what, but I'm the guy who put that out. So you better believe I know how to stop it. How about new? From here I read zone, so I hit the fullback who I strategically put my 90 speed tight end in Taysom Hill for a gain of eight to end the quarter before I call my first and only run play in the game in the fullback inside to ensure the first down. On the next I go right back to the running backs to stay ahead of schedule before Derek Carr does Derek Carr things and almost cost me the football. I get it back, but I have to get a yard on fourth down to keep it. He sends a man zero blitz on the next play, but the route design forces his defender to set picks on themselves as we get wide open underneath for another first down. He calls man coverage once again, so I run with Derek Carr to get inside the five before I get the exact same animation against his man coverage and just walk it into the end zone for a 15 point lead. He starts the next drive by running and I'm cool with that at this point. And now he is having the most of success by running the ball. But given that I am up two scores, I am going to play the pass first and stay with this personnel. As I know the hard part is going to be scoring once he gets inside the red zone. So I allow him to dink and dunk his way down the field by not calling anything too aggressive until he gets in the scoring range. From here I just have to force him from getting seven as we force three straight incomplete passes to get him to a big fourth and 10. I still call hard flats here though, as you can easily catch a pass underneath and run for 10. And everything is locked up one more time as he forces a deep pass to the tight end. Got he. As we would have gotten a pick six if the honey badger was just a little bit faster. <laughs> 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 With only 26 seconds left though, I make a bad decision. Oops. And now those points will never come. He gets the ball after half, but ain't shit changed. This defense is still locking up the entire field. Only now since I'm covering the crossing route, I decided to push in the right stick to send the other hook zone safety after the quarterback. And since the offensive linemen are already engaged in double teams, no one picks him up as he gets the sack for a two yard loss. Get over here! He calls a hurry up and I do the exact same thing even faster this time. <laughs> Your ass down. For an even bigger loss, pushing it back to a third and 20. And there's obviously something to this. So I do it again on third down and no one blocks him again, as I just accidentally found a really good way to get consistent pressure from this defense. And now in fourth and 20 with a rage quill on the line, I do it for the four straight play to end the drive and the game. <laughs> He doesn't quite quit yet though, meaning I probably have to score first. So I run with the quarterback once again before calling my second run play of the game to punch it in and secure a much deserved rage quit victory. So that's the video. Give these plays a try. Let me know in the comment section how they work for you. And if you want to learn more about the offenses or defenses that I was using in today's game, I will have links to the full schemes popping up on screen. And until next time, thanks for watching, man. My shit out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like eBooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below.